Okay, so let's do the release and just go over the release. So I am going to switch back so that we can, you guys don't need to do anything. You just have to listen to my um, guided meditation to release all of that, okay? Okay, great. So just take a deep breath in. And let it all go. Take another deep breath in. And let it all go. Take one more deep breath in. Let it all go. And now let's just start this. Pure love activate as you breathe in. Just repeat this to yourself. Pure love activate. And as you breathe out, 0 0.01 activate. On your in breath, as you breathe in this pure love, just allow this pure love to go from the top of your head all the way down to the base of your spine. And as you breathe out, allow the 0 0.01 energy to go from the base of your spine all the way up to the top of your head. Pure love and 0 0.01 coherence activate. Pure love and 0 0.01 coherence activate. Continue to breathe in pure love. And as you breathe out, allow 0 0.01 energy to move from the base of the spine up. And allow these two energies to become coherent. Bring attention to your left and your right palm to feel when they become in sync with one another. When you feel them being in sync, then balance, activate. Allow the left and the right energy within you balance. The front and the back energy to balance. Balance, activate. Continue to breathe like this for another two more minutes. Breathing in through a lot. And 0 0.01 on the out breath. And to have both pure love and 0 0.01 coherent. And feel this coherent energies moving through your center line.
Inhaling, breathe in, pure love. And on the out breath, bring in 0 0.01. Feel these two energies moving in you, right in the center. And you feel that you are all ready. And set the intention that you want to release the following programs. And you want to re release all copies of these programs from the brain, from your heart, from your gut in the first four layers of your energetic bodies, filling in with pure love. So let's begin to release. Release all not mine programs. Release, activate. Set this intention to release all not mine programs. Release, activate, breathe in. And breathe out. Next intention, all not meaningful to my path programs, release, activate, breathe in with this intention, and breathe out. All present life programs in the central line release, activate, breathe in, breathe out. Next intention, all financial programs, not meaningful to my path, release, activate. Breathe in and breathe out. Physical layer boundary is strong. Activate. A 
the etheric layer boundary is strong, activate. Emotional layer boundary is strong, activate. Mental layer boundary is strong, activate. Breathe in and breathe out one more time. Then come all the way back into the room. How is everybody doing? I love this. Thank you. Are you guys feeling clearer now? Yes. I actually do feel that the uh, like the top of my head is actually I feel the energy stronger. I'm yearning. That, that for me is I is evidence that I've released something. Can you read on us? Have we if we released something or you can? Yeah, I actually do get confirmation that you all seem brighter. You're all brighter. So yes. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Don't feel anything. You don't feel anything? Okay. I kept nodding off. Oh. I'm yawning, so it means that I releasing something. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Rosanna, the, yeah. the other way that you you will notice, you may not notice right away, but you will notice the shift in yourself in let's say the next couple of days like just okay. pay attention to that because I, I actually uh, I feel it mm -hmm. at, right at the moment that I release something and then a couple of days later I actually do feel my thought patterns is a, it's different so that's how yeah that's how it. Uh, that's how it kind of confirmed to me that yeah, I actually released something. Okay. So I'm going to share something. I was raised like this, like to be super responsible, super, 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 you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> do the best and do this. And if you don't do the best, then you beat yourself to the. You know. And then next time you have to do better. So I'd like I'd like to know if I release that program because it's it's hard to live in that program. Yeah, it's, like it's, every it's, error beats you back to your head. Like why didn't I enjoy do life? So well, and well, other people don't care. Like you just let just us know. Don't care. So let us know. Let we'll us see. Know. Okay. Any other comments, questions before we jump on to the next one, which is past life? Just a comment. Um, so when you're saying physical, your physical could be certain certain chakras that are more. No, no, you said it. It's being held <sighs> in your your brain and your heart and your gut yeah but your body too though so your body it could be in certain chakras of your body as well um you also have a physical layer of like the first layer of your energetic body is your physical layer so okay. which is really your all your your chakras as well 
Okay. Okay. And there. Got it. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So you guys ready for uh, to look at the past life? Yes. Okay. Great. Mm -hmm. um, let's go to a past life. So what's the difference? So what's the do difference? The past life. Um, couple of things that's different. First is, yes, we still have to bring in the energy, which is the breathing part of it. But in, in so I've already mentioned, we have to breathe like this, uh, like bringing in pure love and 0 0.01 and then, you know, coherence, balance. We do that for 10 minutes at least with bricks as well, because the, uh, when we, when we break is actually we um, allow this energy to become more potent. So which means that you do a minute of this breathing in pure love and out breath is 0 0.01. And then you stop for 15 seconds and then you do the next minute and then 15 seconds rest. So that's what I mean. So that is... And then the next one is, um, is that instead of just saying the intention, we actually use our hands to grab it. So why? Because, um, hang on a minute, let me. So how do we grab it? Um, it's, so we, we mainly want to get rid of the, the past life ones that is really blocking the uh, the central line. So the way to grab it is that you use your palm. So um, use your more sensitive palm. So for me, it's my left palm. So this is my more sensitive palm. And so what you do is you put your palm right on top of your head. Once you've done the the, the breathing, because when you when you do the breathing for about 10 minutes in the past life programs actually start to um, float up above your your head not to inter interrupt you later do you touch your head or above the head slightly above so yes, i would start from my head and then i would start to move up so you would touch and then move away? Yeah. Okay. Start to move up until you feel something there. Because when you're breathing like that for um, a long, like 10 minutes or so, all of the, the, the past life programs, they are more hidden. It's because when you your energy is high enough, it will start to float up. But because they are not um, directly related to your present life, so it's kind of you, um, you have to actually physically grab them. And that's why you use your hand, go to, you do the, the central path and you feel. So what does it feel like? For me, it feels, because there's, if it is just um, thin air, there's nothing there. It's like when when there's nothing in the air, you move your hands. There's nothing there, so you very easy. However, when there's something there, when there is a path life program there, how I feel it is that there is a difference, either a difference in heat, so it's slightly warmer or slightly colder. So it's, so you would feel that there is some difference there. Or sometimes I would feel it as something, it's kind of like a little bit of static electricity kind of feeling. Or you may feel it as um, a weight there. So those are some of the ways that you know that that is a program. So you use your hand to feel it. And then you, once you feel that there's something there, you, then you kind of just grab it. 
and then you can um, you can try to understand it. For me, when I like when I have it in my hand, and I would just ask, "So, what is this program?" I usually would get a an answer. Um, not everybody may get the answer. However, you may just get uh, a feeling. You may feel sad, or you may feel fear or anger. So something like that. So it will, you will have some idea what it may be. Okay. So that's so. Um, Vini, again, yeah. because the picture is little distorted on the top of your head, you touch with your palm or or the other side of your hand. I I would use my palm. Okay. So so then I will have my the top of so the back of my uh, uh, hand is touching is your head. Touching my head. Okay. Because my palm is the more sensitive part of my hand. So I would use my palm to move up away from my head, the top of my head, in order to feel where that program may be. That's what I thought, but just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Okay. So, you, um, if you like, you can, um, you can, you know, kind of ask what it is about and understand it, and then let it go. If you don't get any answer, or you just don't don't care what it is, you just want to let it go, then just let it go. It will. So it will leave when you set the intention to let it go because you already grabbed it. So, so you just let it go. Just breathe in, breathe out, set the intention, let it go. And that's it. So then you go back and then go a little further and see if you feel something else again and you do another one. Until you really feel like you know, as far up as your hand can go, there's nothing there blocking your center line, then that's it, you're done. Okay, so questions? How would you do that? When they let them go, whatever we find, right? Mm -hmm. um, do they come back? Can they come back? No. Okay, it's good. Theoretically, no. Unless, um, no, actually, no, they it won't come back because it is past life. So you let it go already. If it's present life, yes, you may still, it, will, it may still come back because, you know, so you have a, 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 an experience. So something similar, then it may come back. It, it will not be the same program, but it will be something similar that comes back. So that's why it's a good idea to maybe once a week or once a month to just do release all the programs that's not related to your, your path and all that. That programs from past life, they affect that experience what we have now? Okay, um, I don't quite understand what you're asking. I'm asking if that programs, what we're going to catch and release, is they affect our life now, all what we have now, all our experience? So I have, yes answer is yes. Um, for example, I know I have a past life um, that I, I died of starvation. So I have a thing about <laughs> having no food to eat. That is like there is a panic in my in my body. So that is a past life program. That I, I probably die from starvation once also because I do have, if I don't have food at home, I panic. Yeah. So then, like, definitely that would be one of the those programs that you would want to let go of. So, <laughs> and then once you let go of it, 
you will see that there is, you will start to become less panicky about it. Okay, so any other questions? Thank you. So there's no guarantee that you can catch the whole thing? Could be. Uh, no, no, no guarantee because we, okay. Um, there are so many programs. We have so many programs. We have lived so many lifetimes. So the potential for programming is really limitless. Most of it, we all, all we want to do is actually just do the center line because those are the ones that it's going to block our um, connection to our higher self. So because our higher self and our soul actually guides us. So we actually want more guidance. So that's those are the most important ones to get rid of. The other ones I would do today is you guys want to do financial. So I'm going to ask that all the financial programs show up there too. So, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. there, may be, there may be many other kinds of uh, programs. So, so that's why we can release for a while and still <laughs> there would be other programs. However, we do what we can. And you will definitely feel the difference because I have actually felt the difference since I started doing the, the re release. Any other questions, comments? Okay, let's do this then. 